don't want to make murderers upset, you know, that's, that's, that's a bad thing. I don't wanna, I wanna live. Hi everybody, I'm Sophie, I hope you're feeling magical today, and if you don't, I hope you will be in a minute. Today's story time is about how I was once catfished by a murderer. So this all happened a few years ago. I was very new to online dating. It, I never really felt like it was something for me. I was kind of scared about it. I was really new into online dating and I didn't really know much I didn't really know much about it. I thought that it was just for old elderly creepy dudes and uh, yeah, I I really didn't know much about it. I just felt that it was kind of creepy. I didn't think that it was something for me. But seeing people all around me, meeting online and dating and getting married, having kids, I, I was slowly changing my mind and thinking about, you know, thinking that, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I could give it a try. So I did. I put up a profile. I did it on one of those sites where you pay a small fee. Uh, I think it was every month or something like that. I thought to myself that yeah, it, it seems a, a bit more legit. I don't know, like maybe people on here are more serious than let's say a free website. I don't know. I, I don't know exactly what I was thinking, but I was trying, you know, there's so many, many sites to choose from. So I just took one that felt and looked respectable. So I put up a profile picture. I fill it all out and, and yeah it didn't take very long until I got a message so obviously I looked at, at the picture it was this yeah cute guy I mean he looked really kind of normal average he had dark hair and yeah you know I mean they say a picture it tells you more than a thousand words but I don't know it's hard to judge someone from a picture is what I'm trying to say so anyway, I went on to his profile and looked at what he said and one of the things that stuck out to me was the fact that he said that his life wasn't always that easy. And I'm like, ah, oh, I can relate, I can relate to that. He hasn't had the best life, neither have I. Uh, so <laughs> I'm like, a match made in heaven, I don't know. But also the fact that he could share it so openly. I was like, okay, so maybe his dad was an alcoholic or, you know, maybe he has had a hard time finding a job or, you know, I don't know. You never know. So anyway, it was enough for me to start to talk to him or chat with him. So we started writing back and forth. Yeah, just trying to get to know each other and uh, he seemed nice enough he was a bit older which i have no problems with uh, he was very nice he was you know asking stuff about me and what i do and you know my likes and dislikes and stuff like that and we actually ended up talking for about like two hours straight the very first time we we uh, chatted so then uh, he started to get a little bit like mysterious uh, so i was like hmm okay what's what's going on and he said that, can I be honest with you? Like, I feel like I can be honest with you. Can I be honest with you? And I'm like, sure. Like, I thought that that was the purpose of this whole thing, to be honest. But I mean, okay, so let me just say that this was way before Catfish, you know, like the show Catfish. This was way before. So I didn't even know the term. I didn't even know what catfishing was. I didn't know that it was going on. <coughs> but like I said, I just figured in my head that like, yeah, <clears throat> probably there's some creepy dudes out there. But yeah, I didn't know that it was as common as it obviously is. So, so anyway, he's like, can I be honest with you? And I'm like, sure, of course. He's like, that's not me uh, in the picture. And straight away, I'm like, oh, she's neat. Okay, here we go. So he's like, yeah, do you mind if I send you my real picture? Like, but private, privately. I'm like having doubts already, but I'm like, yeah, yeah, you can do that. So he sends me his picture and it's basically the same guy. I mean, obviously chose the picture to represent him. So I was like, okay, like same age, same, like dark hair, same everything. 
so that made me kind of confused. I'm like, why would you, how, why would you choose someone that looks exactly like you? Like you're not that looking yourself. So why would you do that? And he said that it was for privacy reasons and that he didn't feel comfortable putting his face out there. So I was like, okay, I can deal with that, I guess. So we kept on talking. We talked for like two more hours and everything was fine. We just talked about life and different things. And I was like, this, this guy's really cool. Like, I like him. So yeah, once again, he's like, can I be honest with you? And I'm like, yeah, I thought we went over this. Of course you can be honest. He's like, uh, I'm actually in prison. I'm like, say what? Come again? Pardon? He's like, yeah. And not to make this story too long, you know, he just explained to me that he is in like a half half open prison and that he's been in prison for over 10 years and if you live in Sweden or if you know about Sweden's prison system if you're in for over 10 years there's only one thing you can be guilty of and that's murder because we have like so benign punishments over here so I'm like Okay, so straight away I know that he killed someone, or that at least, you know, they found him guilty of killing someone. So I'm like, okay, um, okay, uh, yeah, awesome, and very, I mean, I should have just like closed, shut it down right there, but I don't know, I just, I don't know. I was like a little bit scared that he would, I don't know, do something, tell someone to go kill me if I just shut him down. So I just wanted to like ease it out, ease it out very gently. Um, so, but first I was a bit curious. So I asked him a few questions to see if he wanted to talk about it. And yeah, he did. So, uh, but I didn't ask for like, like very very specific details or stuff like that because I didn't want to you know like make him upset or anything I don't want to make murderers upset you know that's 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 a bad thing he told me that he killed someone killed a man because of something he did I don't know what he did but the thing that really really like put me off even worse than knowing that he's a murderer the fact that he had no remorse, that was so, so scary. I, yeah. So he actually said this to me that even the mother of the man that he killed wasn't sad. The mother of the man that he killed wasn't upset that her son was dead. And he, he said this to me like, as like he did the world a favor. Like this was a really, really bad guy that he killed. And I'm like, uh, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so right then and there, I just felt like, Sophie, get the fuck out of here, like fast. And you know, like we talked for like four or five hours by now, and that's a long time. And I, ugh. so I'm like, okay. And he talked about, you know, meeting up and yeah, as I said, in Sweden, we are pretty lenient, so because he had been in prison for so long and he had a daughter on the outside which he also like just mentioned five five hours into the conversation they have like uh, some small houses where they can interact and be with their kids like on you know once a month or something like that so he was like yeah maybe you can come one of those weekends and we can and i'm like for the love of like no, please, please, I want to live. So I'm like, okay, do I go on a date with a murderer? Or do I tell a murderer that I don't want to go on a date with him? Like the options. So yeah, that was, that was pretty awful. He kept on writing to me. I tried to 
let him down really really easy and like really be like super nice to him and like pretending that it had nothing to do with the fact that he was a murderer and that he isn't sorry for killing people but uh, yeah eventually things just ebbed out so eventually we just wrote less and less to each other and I think that he met someone else online hopefully that's what he did but I was scared I mean I was for real scared for like at least like weeks or months afterwards I was just like every time you know I would get a message I was I would be like oh please not from him please <sighs> that shit is scary and I didn't even know that they that they are allowed to use computers and internet but obviously Sweden is like heaven for criminals I suppose so yeah, that's the story about how I was catfished by a murderer. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments or concern, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Have a good day. Bye bye.